Hi guys, Pankaj here. So in this video, we are gonna talk about how we could delete a record type. Sound easy, but it's kind of a tricky. Okay, whenever you will try to delete a record type, you would get a scenario that is a, that it is assigned as a default to this record type. First, you need to remove that default value. Only then you could delete it. But before deleting it, it should also be inactive. That two points need to be keep in mind. Now the scenario that I have taken here is kind of a little difficult than the simple steps that I told. Basically, these two record types are assigned to two profiles: a system admin and platform and standard platform user. Now in this scenario, if I remove one value as a default, other value will be other value need to be set as a default. In that scenario, it will be difficult to remove the other one. So in this scenario, to tackle this, we need to remove that, remove all the record types from that profile and assign a master there. We could be able to delete in this scenario of mine. Okay, but in other scenario, suppose you want to delete a record type which is assigned as a default to only one, you could just remove that and delete it. That could be the simple step. But now let's see how if we try to delete it. Okay, let's say we try to delete it. Let's click delete. It's assigned as a default to system platform user. Okay, that's why we could not delete it. Similar similar thing will happen to others as well. Suppose let's say we wanna okay profiles. Why I'm here on the profiles? Yeah, similar thing happen with other uh, other other record types as well. So the best step is we go to the profiles. Okay, here type profiles and then go to the system admin since we want to remove that from there. A go to system. Click on here on system admin, and then scroll down to the record type section. Yeah, it's below it. Yeah, then click edit. And since we want to delete all three of them, just remove them because as you can see here, if we uh, want to change medical to certain other value as a default, either it need to be group or personal. When we try to delete those values, then it would be difficult to delete them because it would be default. That's why. What the scenario is, select all three of them, simple step, and remove it, and then just assign master. Because if I try to save it, it will not be saved. Get saved because one record type must be selected. That is why we will add master. But if we have other profiles, master would not be there. Okay, we can't add master now because other is present. That's why we remove this and set assign. This is a scenario of ours. Okay, in your scenario, maybe that record type is set default only to a particular profile, and you want to delete. Just default, just change the default value here for that, and just delete it. But in our scenario, we want to delete all three of them. Okay, that's the step to do. Since we are able to done it, we save it. Now, since certain record types are assigned to platform standard platform user as profile as well, so let's remove those as well from that as well, and then we try to delete. Okay, so it's a standard platform. So let's say if it's in platform or a standard one, let's see. It's not in P. It must be in S. Standard platform user. Yeah, this one. Just click here, and then just scroll, 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 and we will be there in a while. Yeah, here. Just edit. Here is a personal is default. Then personal would be difficult to delete. That's why we just remove all three of them. Okay, and then add master, and then save it. Okay, it's done. Now we go to back to our record types. Now, if we try to delete it now, we would not be able because they are still active. So we will be getting that message. Yeah, the attempt it was invalid for reason. You refresh. Okay, it's coming. Search something else. Let's try. Only inactive records can be deleted. So inactive record types. So let's make them inactive and then try to delete it. Okay, just edit every one of them. Edit and make it inactive. Save. One done. Other others two remaining. Okay, let's remove, edit, and make it inactive. Save it. Okay, record types. So these are done. So let's say, okay, let's check that scenario as well that I told you. We need to remove it as a default. Let's say delete it. Okay, we are able to delete it. Yeah, just click delete. Once we delete two, and we will see that scenario just done. So one will be deleted. Okay, one record type is deleted. That's delete medical as well. Delete. Okay, medical getting deleted. Yeah, done. 
now the other scenario would be simple let's say we go to this one as well okay only this one and go to the record type again edit let's say this scenario normal scenario let's say we add personal here okay personal will be default we save it now if we try to delete it we could not be deleted because personal would be its default okay so to do that what we will do is just simply go to that record type that was just i created a scenario we will just change the default value which we could not change here we remove it we add a master or certain other profiles that would be available we save it that would be a scenario like to tackle in case you just want to remove that from you do want to delete only one record type just remove that record type as default from every profile till and you could delete it okay that that's the scenario that i talked about in scenario just to give you idea or to direct you in the right direction okay you could delete it it's not assigned to any profile right now so just delete it. okay okay i forgot to make it inactive yeah that not forget to don't forget to do that just edit it and make it inactive and save it and delete it and you are done with it okay go to record type and then delete it so you know those sound easy but kind of tricky so it could be deletable yeah just done it and it's deleted so we are done with the deletion and that's for this video thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video